Hey, uh, my fantastic bunch of people. So the other day, yesterday, I went on a little shopping trip with my mum and I got some nice things and I guess I just want to show you guys because I just love haul videos. I don't know, it's just seeing all the nice products. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got. My first buy was from Superdrug and okay, this isn't very exciting to be fair. I just got a giant can of Bastiste hair, um, dry shampoo, sorry, dry shampoo. I got the Tropical, which is the coconut and exotic. So a lot of people I know don't really like Batiste, but is that, am I saying it correctly? Batiste, yeah. I love it, I just love the smell of it, and my hair is kind of light anyway, so it suits my hair. Because I know for some people it can leave like a real like white residue, but it doesn't do that for me. So I would use this every kind of second or third day, you know, I don't like to wash my hair every day. Because um, it's quite thin as it is, so it doesn't need any more damage done to it. So I usually just stick a bit of this in my hair and it's perfect. So something else I got from Superdrug was... <gasps> this. So this is the Blushing Hearts Triple Baked Blusher. Um, and basically this is a really good dupe for, do you know, like the Too Faced one, except like a million times cheaper. I'm going to open it and show you guys. Even the packaging is really pretty. So that be it there. And it just comes off and look, it's so, so pretty. I'll show you a sample here now in a minute, but um, it's very, very similar to the Too Faced one, except I'll tell you how much it costs now. It cost $6.75 and Superdrug are doing a 20% student discount until today. So I got 20% off it too, which was amazing. Um, but yeah, I haven't tried it yet, so I will tell you guys what I think when I try it, but I'm very excited. Okay, my next item is an item of clothing from Mango. Um, so Mango is one of those shops that I used to never get anything in, or I used to like never shop. But more recently, like half my wardrobe has come from here. It's like really good because some shops at the moment are just like too young for me. Like I find like places like Forever 21 or sometimes even like Primark can be like real young for like young teenagers. Um, and then, but obviously places like Duns and Next are like for older people. Well, I think they are anyway. But Mango I just find is that real nice, like nice in between age. So I think it's quite good. Um, so I got this jumper here. It's basically like a pinky colour. I was actually wearing this in my last video. Um, so it's from the Mango Basics range and it's just basically a knitted kind of thin cable jumper. It's really nice and light and it's v-neck. Um, this costs 20 euro which is quite good and I love the fit and the sleeves are kind of flared as well. Which I got another top in the Zara sale and this is such a good bargain. I'm so delighted with this. So it's this black top here. It's this one here and it's basically just like a flowy black top with embroidered flowers on the top and it skims like over the stomach and it's got long sleeves that are kind of see-through which is really cute. What I love about this is first of all the high neck, it's got like a lovely like lacing detail on it. And then the second thing I love is the back is quite see-through. So I have a back tattoo and I never get to show it off. So you can actually see my back tattoo through this, which sounds kind of weird, but it looks really good. So this was originally 50 euro and I got this for 12.99. Like that is insane. The Zara sale is so good right now. The next thing I got is just from TK Maxx and it's basically just a pair of headphones. Not that exciting. So they're by a brand called Viho, which I hadn't heard of. But the reason that I picked these is I had a pair of earphones from the website Wish that in fairness did last me quite a while for, they cost me like a euro or something, so that's amazing. Um, but unfortunately, one of them's completely broken. And I'm gonna be traveling to New York in two weeks, so I'm gonna need some headphones. Um, these are the ones that are kind of like a flat cable rather than like a rounded cable. So I'm just kind of thinking they might last a bit longer and they're just pink and black and they cost seven euro and yeah, I'm happy with them. So then I went into Inglot. Okay, so there's a story behind this. So before Christmas, I had started getting some more colors because I have a Freedom palette. For those of you who don't know, a Freedom palette is basically like a magnetic palette and you go into Inglot and you can like choose whatever shades you want and like make up your own palette. It's a really deadly idea, but 
unfortunately, the last time I went in, the girl gave me the wrong colour, so I had to go back and exchange um, this deep brown colour that she gave me for the peachy colour that I wanted, but it's all good, like they exchanged it no problem, which was really nice. So the colour that I wanted was 312, which is this peachy colour here, and the reason I got this colour is I want to use it as like a really nice transition colour, I just think it'd be really nice because I don't have a transition colour yet for my palette. And then when I was in there, I spotted this color, 414. Oh my God, it's this gorgeous like green color and I just couldn't resist. These are only six euro each and they're super pigmented, so well worth the money. My last few items are from Pennies or Primark as the English people call it. Um, so the first thing I got was this memory foam um, travel pillow because like I said, I'm going to New York. Did I mention that? Um, so I am going to need this. Now we are traveling with Norwegian Air, which are, they're an extremely budget airline. I'm not even sure if our seats are gonna go back, but I've got this bad boy, so I'm not too worried. It's really comfortable. I love memory foam things. So yeah, I just got a nice pink color and it was six euros. Next thing I bought was actually, um, I bought this on recommendation from another Irish YouTuber, Jessie B. Hey! Um, basically, I was watching her last video. She was saying that like she had really a lot of trouble putting on her fake lashes, and I always have trouble with it. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? But apparently, it can be the glue. So she suggested trying this Duo Strip Lash, lash Adhesive. That's a mouthful. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna give this a go. I got this in pennies. I think it was about six euro, but I really just wanna give it a go and see if it makes a difference because I am woeful at putting on false lashes. So another item I got, I wanted one of these for a long time, is a big old brush cleaner. Um, so you'll have seen a lot of vloggers use these. Basically what you do is you stick it onto your sink and you can just put whatever shampoo or cleaner on it and you just clean your brushes. There's lots of different grooves and patterns, so for different brushes. And yeah, not much to say about it. I've just wanted one for ages and it was three euros, so I just decided to pick it up. And my brushes are filthy. They need to be washed so badly. So I think after this video, I'm gonna go do that. Something else I got in pennies was a paddle brush. So I've just recently got my hair cut and I was telling my hairdresser that my hair gets real knotty. Like even though it's quite thin and I don't have much hair it's still for some reason like it's so so knotty um, and he suggested I go to Penny's and get one of these paddle brushes so I did just that and as you can see I used it this morning and it's really really good in fairness so and he was saying you could use it on wet hair as well but I have a tangle teaser so I usually use that so I'm gonna try that out and that was three euro for a good big silver brush. My last item from Penny's I love so much um, and I couldn't resist buying it when I went past it and um, it's this mug. It is this mug. It is so cute. It's dirty because I had coffee this morning in it, but it's basically like the bottom half of Minnie Mouse. That's how I would describe it, but it's so, so cute. I love mugs that are like this shape for coffee. I don't know, it's just something having like a bowl of coffee. It's just so much better than a cup of coffee. And um, the inside says Minnie Mouse, and it's really cute, right? And, and yeah, it was six euro, which is a bargain, I think. So I love it. Thank you so much for watching um, my haul video. It's been a while since my last one, but I hope to do a few more of these in the new year. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much. And if you could like and share and comment and subscribe, it would just mean so much to me. And if you want to know when I put up a new video, which will hopefully be a lot more, you can click on that little bell icon on my profile. That would be great. Thank you so much. Bye.